Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. And right now we're in the state of Vermont. We're currently in the city of Bennington. Today we're gonna to be doing a driving tour of downtown Bennington, Vermont. It's 76 degrees outside. We're passing Orchard Drive. We have Cumberland Farms on our left. It's a gas station. A McDonald's on our right and a Shell gas station on our right. $4.69 per gallon of regular gasoline. We're going to be entering the Bennington Historic District shortly. We're about three minutes away from our desired destination. We have an Aldi's on our left hand side. On our right, off screen, I see a KFC and a Taco Bell. We're waiting at this red light. Bennington is a town in Bennington County, Vermont, in the United States. It is one of two Shire towns of the county, other than being Manchester. As of the 2020 United States Census, the population was 15,333 people. Bennington is located at an elevation of 817 feet. The total area that Bennington encompasses is 42.5 square miles. Bennington is about 273 years old. Let's continue moving forward. We're gonna make this right-hand turn coming up. So I started this tour a little bit further down because there's not really much going on in this part of Vermont. As you can see, there's luscious green vegetation everywhere. There's tons of green mountains. So with that being said, we just exited New York State and we're passing through. We're on our way to New Hampshire. So we're going to capture this town because it's only right along the way of our journey. We're about three minutes away from our desired destination. We're on US Route 7 North. We have a sign on our right hand side that reads travel information at chamber office, bedding, food, lodging, etc., etc. We just passed Veterans Memorial Drive. We have the farmer's market at Deer Park on our left hand side. We have a little food shack on my right. Tasty Freeze. They got clam rolls, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, fries. We got cigarettes, beer, and wine on our right. We have a vape shop on our right at Beverage Den. Craft beers and all of that good stuff. Passing what looks like it was once a golf gas station, but now it's just a car wash with vacuums and all of that. We have Jensen's on our right and a trailer supply company on our right-hand side. We're passing Depot or Depot. We're on North. We have a tire shop on our right-hand side. We're about two minutes away. On our left-hand side at this huge park, it looked like they had a veteran's memorial with a ton of flags, headstones, and all that stuff. We have two youngsters on our left, one on a bicycle, one on a scooter, enjoying life. We have a little service center on our left-hand side. A Dunkin' Donuts on our left-hand side as well as a Subway, $5 footlongs, eat fresh. We're at the intersection of North and Adams. We have a little church on my left-hand side, an H&R block on my right. That was Congregation Bethel Church, established in 1909. I see a bank and I see a Goodwill store. I see a pharmacy on my left-hand side. We have River and North. We just passed Gage. We're at the intersection of Gage and North. We have People's United Bank on our right-hand side. We're now approaching what looks to be like a bridgeway. Below us, it sounded like water. I heard water. We had the British or Bennington British Company on our right. 
We got the Bennington VA Clinic on our right. The Bank of Bennington on our left. A little musician uh, business on our right. They had a bunch of like musical instruments, saxophones, violins, stuff like that. The bass, the cello. I'm going to merge into this parking spot. We have a lot of traffic behind us. And right now, we're in the downtown section. So it's a small downtown. We're at Pleasant and North. We have a park on my left-hand side with a woman with several children. They're just playing. We have some New Mexico tags next to us on the Subaru. Yeah, there's several kids playing in the sprinkler on my left-hand side at the Thompson family stage. Looks like a little park. Oh, check out this old school Porsche. Clean Porsche. And I'm not even a huge Porsche enthusiast, but I can appreciate that bad boy. It's black. Woo, it looks beastie. We're at Maine and North. And we're in downtown, ladies and gentlemen. We have a little restaurant on our left-hand side called Farm Road Brewing. Eat local, craft brewery, drink local. We have Great Fields downtown on our right-hand side. I see a giant clock on my left-hand side. It's at the corner. It's a nice clock. It's right in front of People's United Bank. So the facade, I see bricks, red bricks. Red bricks, damn near, on most of the buildings. We're still waiting at this red light. I noticed that it looks like they have the original American flag posted up on the poles that have the original colonies. So it doesn't have all of the stars, 50 stars. All right, let's continue moving forward. All right, so we have a downtown strip on my left-hand side also. So we're going to go straight, go around the block, and then come back. On my right, it looks like we have some sort of cougar or tiger in front of cards and gifts. We're passing Franklin Lane. On our left, we have another historic looking building. I'm sorry, I do have a truck behind me. This is a main street. I am going to make a right hand turn. I see a moose statue. We're on Elm Street. We're at South and Elm Street. We got a gas station in front of us, $4.69 per gallon. That moose looks cool. It's a moose. We're on Elm Street, guys. This is my Uncle Freddy Krueger's block. You remember, remember? Yeah, Freddy Krueger. We got the United States Post Office of Bennington, Vermont on our left hand side. I noticed many states have an Elm Street. <laughs> many of them have an Elm Street. Fun fact. Freddy Krueger, at least the original, was shot in California. But it was right around the corner from Hollywood in a small community um, or small neighborhood in the Hollywood area. But it was in a fictional town of Springfield, right? I believe that was the town. We're at Elm and Washington. But it was a fake town, so the town didn't really exist. Okay, so we're going to go around the block. Um, next block, next block. I was about to turn there. That looks like they got military trucks back there. We have the Tri-State Area Federal Credit Union on our left. We're going to make this right on this corner. So there's more than one reason to check out the Bennington Museum. Thought-provoking history and art exhibits, intriguing special events, and even an outdoor nature trail. Let's make this right-hand turn. We have a quickie mart on our right and then a gas station on our left. I'm going to pull over. I have a, a motorcyclist behind me. I'm going to allow this other vehicle to pass us too so we don't hold them up. The Bennington Museum is probably best known for housing the largest collection of Grandma Moses paintings in the world. Wow. I've never even heard of Grandma Moses paintings. <laughs> CCV, Community College of Vermont on our left. That was a very small community college, yet alone college. That was a really small college. 
I like the small town charm. It's 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 charming. So we're approaching Putnam Square, P U T N A M Square, Putnam Square. We have downtown Bennington banners on these poles on our right and our left hand side. We have the First National Bank on our left. Bennington is the most populous town in southern Vermont. Wow. The third largest town in Vermont after Essex and Colchester and is the sixth largest municipality in the state, including the cities of Burlington, Rutland, and South Burlington. We have a gentleman walking a dog on our right. We have a younger family. We're passing South Street. We're on Main and South Street. We have that clock on our right-hand side. Now we're in the downtown strip, guys. So I'm going to try to drive super slow here. Luckily, there's no cars behind me at the moment. Mission City Church on our left. Green Spot on our left. On our right, we got naps, souvenirs, toys, games, music, and more. The 421 Kitchen Craft and Bar on our right. Bennington Banner on our right. Bennington Pizza House on our left-hand side. We have a wild animal statue on our right. It looks like a rainbow um, tiger and or cougar. Bringing you Vermont on our left. The Christian Center on our left. Green Mountain. On our right, we have Adams Lock and Security. We have Fiendbergs. Old Guns Bought, Sold, and Traded. Talked about Wow. We have Bennington Sports and Graphics on our right. We have the Gamers Grotto on our right. We have Molten Spectacle Shop on our right. Turning Point Recovery Center. The Angry Egg 2 on our right-hand side. The Village Chocolate Shop. Main Street Antiques on our right. TD Bank on our left. Haven't seen one of those in forever. We have a little real estate business on our right. And it looks like we just spanned downtown. <laughs> we drove in like two blocks. Berkshire Sign Studio on our left. We're at Silver Street, Main and Silver Street. Let's go forward one block just to give it the benefit of the doubt. Bar Sternberg, Mall Silver, and Munson. Fast Lube, Auto Mechanics on our left. We have a little business. It looks like an eatery on our right-hand side called Ramonto's. So Vermont's known for having a green tag. Let's make this right hand. Oh, uh, we can't. It's a no outlet. Or uh, one way, I should say. I see another eatery on our left. Smell pizza. It smells pretty good, too. First Baptist Church on our right. We have a vehicle behind us. That's why I sped up my speed from 15 miles per hour to 18 miles per hour. Mohar and Son on our left. Funeral home. I can't make a right. There's another tiger cougar thing. <laughs> Stewart shop on our left. It's another gas station. Man, they had like seven gas stations in a span of four blocks. We have a high school on our left-hand side. I want to turn, but I feel like no block has allowed me to turn yet. Can I turn here? Or is this going to take me to private property? This is probably going to take me to private property. So this is going to be a U-turn, but that's good. It's, it's a switch of pace. The people behind me wanted to keep going, and I'm trying to show you guys the environment. So it was like a conflict of interest there. So let's make this U-turn. I'll get to reorient myself. Better yet, I'm going to take you guys straight back through downtown. Because I'm sure I didn't go slow enough for somebody's eyeballs. So we're going to go one more time. And then we'll check around, we'll, we'll, we'll check around the surrounding um, area to see what it looks like. So the total area... Land versus water. The total area is 42.5 square miles. Land is 42.2 square miles. Water is 0 0.3 square miles. I'm going to allow this gentleman to ride by. He is on a super moto. Yes. 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 That's what I'm talking about, buddy. That's like a KTM super moto. It's kind of like a sports bike, but that was awesome. I actually just saw another gentleman on an Enduro. Yep. He went from the street to the grass, but that's why there's... There, there, they're basically like a dual sport bike. You can drive on the street and you can drive on off-road. And I guess Vermont, since it's full of nature, that'd be the perfect type of bike to own. So gas is a little bit cheaper here than in New York. New York, well, we didn't go to New York City just yet. I'm imagining that to being astronomically high. But in New York State, in Albany, it was $4.99 a gallon. About here is $4.69. So a good 40 or so cent difference. 
First Baptist Church on our left. So I'm going to try to go the opposite way, guys. Slow. I'm going to try my best. It's not going to be easy, but Benner's Bagels and Pizza on our right. I'm traveling 10 miles an hour. Speed limit is 25. Oh, man, we got another truck behind us. I'm just pulled over. We're on Valentine in Maine. We have Romanto's on our left. Vacations by Beth on our right. Personalized traveled expert. Oh, <laughs> I said experts. You ready? Personalized travel experts. Visit www.vacationsbybeth.com. All right, I'm going to merge left. Yo, another nice bike. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That was more like a sports bike, like a street bike, but it was kind of still like um, ruggish. Fast lube on our right. We're at Maine and Silver. I'm going to try to slow it down. Berkshire Science Studio on our right. Allegro on our right. Vermont Confectionery on our right. Progressive Physical Therapy on our right. Mahar McCarthy Real Estate on our left. TD Bank on our right. I'm going to pull over once again. We have two pedestrians crossing. We're on our right-hand side, we have Main Street Antiques on our left. We have police on our left-hand side. I'm going to wait shortly. I'm going to allow that police to dissipate from my rearview mirror. <laughs> I want to see him vanish. Vanish. All right. Let's make this left-hand turn. We're merging left. We're passing School Street. We have the Angry Eggs on our left. We have Molten's Spectacle Shop on our left. The Gamer's Grotto on our left-hand side. It looks like a little pantry box on our right. Fiendberg's Bennington Armory on our left. Adam's Lock and Security on our left. The Gift Garden on our left. Bringing You Vermont, the Country Store and Cafe on our right. We have the 421 Craft Bar and Kitchen on our left-hand side. We're currently uh, approaching Naps. It looks like a toy game and music store. We have Madison Brewery and Pub on our right. It's a restaurant. Frozen yogurt business on our left. Eat in or take out. And we pretty much span downtown once again. I'm going to make this right so you guys can see the opposite block that we just went through. We have a police officer on my left-hand side also. They have a green vehicle. I'm going to make this right-hand turn. This is the park on my left where children were playing and enjoying themselves. And it's a perfect day to get wet. Perfect day to get wet for the children. It's cool that they have the sprinklers available. We have a senior citizen service center on our left hand side. We have some residential homes on our right hand side. We're at Pleasant Street. I'm gonna, you got a stop sign, buddy. You can stop at Pleasant in school. <laughs> he was gonna go right through the stop sign and he's supposed to be from here, right? I'm gonna pull over and I'm gonna allow this vehicle behind me that just went right through the stop sign, didn't allow the guy to cross. We have a tutorial center on our left. We're at Park and Pleasant. We have a pretty nice building on our left-hand side. So it looks like we're in a residential neighborhood that's right by downtown. Vinyl side of houses. I see a closed porch on my left. They have little lawns. It looks like they have on my left, I see a little two foot lawn. The side is a lot bigger. On my right, it's like a six foot lawn. There's a property for sale on my right hand side too. It's abandoned. The address is 319, 319. Remember that number for me. We got a beautiful house on my left. What is that? Is that a house? Is that an apartment? Sheesh, 319. Okay, I'll figure this out shortly.
body and frame business when I left. 319. 319. Is this going to be the same block? I'll figure that out when I look at the sign. 319 Pleasant. Yeah, I believe we was on Pleasant. 319 Pleasant? Hopefully that was Pleasant. Let's, let's continue moving forward. So that was 319 Pleasant, Bennington, Vermont. So we're entering another portion of the residential neighborhood. We have two and a half story, about three story homes. I say two and a half because two whole stories and like a little half is uh, is like the um, attic. Wow, we have an orange trailer over here on our left. First time I've ever seen an orange trailer that bright. Most likely they painted it orange. You can't miss that in traffic. We have a female mowing her property on our left. Wow, this is an extremely steep hill on my left. There's a house for sale on my right, too. 256. We're on Hamlin Ave, but what's the intersection? 256, 256. I'm going to have to get to the opposite corner to figure that out. 256. Re um, remember that number. Oh, over here on my left, there's another one for a sale. 253. 253 and 256. All right, let me figure this out. Sunrise Family Resource Center on my right. 253, 256. 253, 256. Wow, we're on Short Street, but there's still no cross intersection sign. 253, 256. 253, 256. Oh, we got some type of appliance for, 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 for trash on our left. That's scrap metal. 253, 256. We're approaching Valentine. Come on, you got to have a cross block. We got to know what block we're on. 253, 256. We're on Union. So that was 253 Union or 256 Union Street, Bennington, Vermont. In case you guys want to look up that, those property values and you want to move here, you want to contact them, go on Google, figure out what agency is selling them. We're at Silver and Union. We have some people on our left-hand side. They're sitting on their porch on a rocking chair. On our right is a no outlet, so we're going to continue moving forward. We're traveling about 14, 15 miles an hour this whole time. Going relatively slow. Printing and mailing company on our right, a graphic design business. Simons Financial Partners LLC on our left. We got a police station on our right. You know how I can tell? There's a bunch of police cars there in the back. More than likely, that's a police station. I see the avocado pit on our right. Oh, and we got the Bennington County Courthouse on our left-hand side. The Bennington County Courthouse. All right, let me let this car pass us. We got the Bennington VT Town Offices in front of us, too. Vermont, that's what VT means. See, this is the Bennington County Courthouse on our right. We got an older gentleman right here. I'm, I'm going to allow him to go. I'm going to give him the right-of-way. No problem, sir. You have a war veteran's hat on. We're at South and Hillside. The dude behind him was beeping like, bro, like, have some patience. He beeped literally after watching the guy cross on the um, motor chair. People are crazy, man. Like, let's let that man go by. Like, Jesus. We're in cars. He's on a, he's on a motor you know, motor chair, whatever you call that thing, an electric chair, one of those disability chairs. I was trying to be courteous. Oh, man. It always boils my skin when people um, rush older people who try to cross the street. Man, there's been a prob probably a handful of times where I've jumped out of the vehicle, and this is in Philly. This this ain't this ain't across the country, but in Philly, and you know, Philly it get wild. I'll just leave my vehicle with the door wide open. I'll jump out and I'll stop in the middle of like Broad Street and I'll help the gentleman walk across the street. Like, yo, like, you know what I mean? Like, nah, man, we're not going to have that. We're not going to have him getting hit and we're not going to have him feeling rushed. Like, take your time, take a chill, and let's let this older man cross the street. And I'll deal with the repercussions of whoever got a problem. All right, let's make this left. Some beautiful houses, man. Some of these houses are awesome. I'm going to make this right. This random right and on Imperial Ave. 
just because the block is shaped like an S and we're going uphill. So I'm intrigued by the S is saying, S me. Say so, you no. Know, <laughs> I was trying to think of something catchy. Oh, come see me. You get it? S. Yo, my boy was picking mushrooms from off his lawn. He had a little Rubbermaid Tupperware. Now, the question is, what type of mushrooms are those? <laughs> and at that, are they safe to eat, bro? Like, are you going to eat them? Like, are you going to use them for, like, a food, like a dish? And if, if, if they are, why you got them on the front of your lawn on the street side? Why not put them in your backyard? You know what I mean? Like, on, 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 on a private garden bed, you know? There was a pink house on my left hidden behind these bushes. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yo, he was picking. He had a whole little one of those Tupperware cleared containers. Yo, there were steps on my right going up. Um, he had one of those Tupperware containers with like already like seven, eight mushrooms. And he had just picked one up and threw it in there. That's crazy. I mean, I don't mind you eating your own mushrooms, but just don't put them on the street side. I wouldn't trust with somebody come, somebody come and pour gasoline on your mushrooms or oil or pee on your mushrooms. And it's like, bro, you got to eat that now. We're going uphill, guys. I don't know if you guys can tell. We're going uphill, baby. So I'm sorry. This uh, town, a lot of the houses are off the street side. Yeah, a lot of them are off the street side. So you can't really see much. Uh, let's stop here at Hamilton. So are there any notable people from here? Are there any notable people from Bennington, Vermont? So there's everything from artists and entertainers, professionals, military, murderers, unfortunately, law, politics, people in sports, and references. Um, references, I guess, probably referring to external entities that talked about Vermont. So some artists and entertainers. I'm going to name some people, and if you know anybody, feel free to comment in the comment section. If I know anybody, I'm going to call them out. I'm going to make a left because it looks like there's more houses here. I see a sign that um, says Hidden Drive pointed right. But there's houses on the far on my right and on my left. This is a suburban community, guys. So, you, you know, you're, you're, you're only getting a taste of it. Pamela Blair. Henry Brandt. Carlton Carpenter. Helen Frankenthaler. Robert Frost. Cynthia Gibb. Milford Graves. Miles Hyman. Stanley Egger Hyman. Shirley Jackson. Jamaica Kincaid, Ray Magliozzi, Bernard Malamud, or Malamud, Jules Olitsky, Mary, or, or Mari, no, it's probably Mary, Mary Oliver, Beverly Owen, Alan Sean, David Smith, R. John Wright, those are the only arts and entertainers. I didn't know any of them. If you knew them, I mean, some of them are sculptors, some of them are illustrators, some of them are literacy instructors, some of them are, oh, it's a dead end in front of us. There's a bunch of kids playing balls and stuff, but I'm not going to go through a dead end because then it's going to be really like, when it comes to like kids, I try not to like focus, you know, you kind of look weird. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I just don't be liking to, to like, like if they're out there with like the full family, kids, parents, everybody, but if it's just like kids by themselves, nah, I'm cool. I'd rather just turn the block. Uh, Jules Alitsky, painter, novelist, drummers, actress. The actress was Cynthia Gibb. She was a um, former model on Susie on Search for Tomorrow, born in Bennington. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Let's make this left. I see people like on the front of the property. There's some kids in the swing on my right too, but they're out there with their mother. She was in the vehicle. Um, there's a blind driveway coming up, meaning I guess a driveway that you can't see. Probably this one on my right maybe. Sports, professionals, murderers. Let's see what they have for murderers. Damn, this burgundy car was not stopping. <laughs> they wasn't stopping at all, bro. They programmed to keep going, 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 and go. We got Sheriff on our right. Let's make this left on Imperial Ave. See that Sheriff on our right? Imperial Ave. All right, let's downshift. Right, let's see what they got for murderers. Mary Rogers. She was a murderer. Wow. Elizabeth Van Valkenburg. The second murderer. Those are the only two murderers. Yo, they're both women. Yo! Make mental note to self. If anybody's watching who's... 
if if if, if anybody's watching who's looking for a <laughs> somebody on my left heard me say yo <laughs> and they said something i think they thought i was talking to them now i ain't talking to you chick um make mental note to self maybe she was a murderer too she's like who are you saying yo to i'm about to come slash you gash you cut another hole in your jackass <laughs> You ain't, you ain't, you didn't get that insider. That's pop culture related to scary movies. Scary movies one, when um, Ghostface raps at the end, he says, "I'm about to slash you, gash you, cut another hole in your ass, spill blood on the walls, and play tennis with your balls." If the phone rings, don't answer that call. I'ma slit your throat. I'ma you like a goat. Peel off your false skin and make a winning coat. So peace. Don't ask me why I remember that. I saw that movie when I was like 11, 12, so many times. Yo, I'm telling you, I saw scary movies so many times, but that's what that reference was from. Um, yo, if there's any gentlemen and or women seeking a significant other that are looking for a spouse and they come up in, in, in Bennington, Vermont, think twice, you know, be, be, be very cautious because you don't want to meet one of those murderers. You don't want to meet the third murderer on, on the list. Mary Rogers. She was born March 9th, 1883. She was born in Hoosick, New York, which is very interesting because Hoosick, you hit, we literally just drove through Hoosick. We literally just drove through Hoosick to get here. And she passed away in 1905. Wow, so she was young. She passed away at age 22? Bro, what happened to her? What happened? That was a crazy 22-year-old. Let's make this right-hand turn. She was a housewife. Oh, she was hanged. For the 1902 murder of her husband. She was the last woman legally executed in Vermont. Oh, snap. That's crazy, y'all. She was hung, bro. Dude, that's some surreal knowledge right there. Spouse, Marcus Rogers. He was born in 1898. He passed away in 1902. What? That don't even make sense. He was four years old? What? 1898? If I'm doing the math right, add 2 plus 1898. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. That's 1900. That, those, math, those mathematics don't add up. Oh, my bad. He was married 1898 through 1902. So he was married for four years. So she couldn't take the marriage, basically. Four years later, she murdered him. Maybe, maybe he was crazy. You know what I mean? Maybe he was one of those crazy... Crazy husbands. We all know that 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 they exist. I mean, that that doesn't justify killing them. You know what I mean? We're on Brookside Apartments, but oh, there's apartments back here, y'all. These look super modern. There's an apartment building. Maybe we shouldn't be back here. This is private property. But yeah, guys, that is incredible, guys. Wow, I didn't expect to learn that piece of information. Criminal penalty: first degree murder was her conviction, death by hanging. Sheesh. And they got her er, her early life, her marriage, the crime, the investigation, the trial, the communication efforts, investigation into prison behavior, the execution. Oh, man. They went full ham on Mary Rogers' um, um, case. Yo. And then Elizabeth Van Valkenburg. She, she sounds like a vampire. I'm sorry. Valkenburg makes me think that you, like, like, like you, like you suck blood for, for a living. <laughs> All right. Let's stop here. We got cars coming. Valkenburg. She was born... Elizabeth Woodley, July 1799. She was born here in Bennington, Vermont. All right, so she was born here. She died January 24th, 1846 at 46 years old. All right, so she lived a little bit of a life. Uh, let's make this right. Um, criminal status deceased. She died in Johnstown, New York. She had six children. Wow, six children. Murder, death by hanging. Bro, they didn't play here, bro. Let's make this. Can we make a right? Yeah, we can make a right. They didn't play here, y'all. They hung you. I'm, and I'm sure it was probably like that in a lot of other counties. I'm all hyped like if that wasn't the way it was back in the 1800s. But it's crazy, bro. The only two murderers listed here. And I'm sure there's probably men murderers. They probably were just never caught. You know what I mean? Um, that is mind-blowing, yo. This town had two murderers. They were both females, and they were both hung. One of them was born here. One was born 30 minutes from here. Because Hoosick is 30 minutes from here, guys. We're at Jefferson Ave. There's a bunch of people right there on my left sitting on the porch. Yo, that is crazy, bro. Like, I'm mind-blown by that. Like, that's some, like, whole Criminal Minds or, like, Discovery Channel or, like, documentary. Like, you know, that's just amazing just to think of. Wow. 
Yeah, it talks about, wow, she had a first marriage and a second marriage. The 46-year-old. <laughs> she was married not once, but twice. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Was an early American murderer who was hanged for poisoning her husband. She poisoned her husband. Bro. Yo, I, that's why I cook my own food. That's why I cook my own food. Say, <laughs> that's not why I cook my own food. My pop taught me how to cook my own food so I could be self-reliant. Plus, I love food. I love cooking. I like, you know, if you want it done the right way, you got to make it yourself. We're at Elm and Jefferson. But with that being said, yo, she poisoned her husband. That's crazy. This this town is hexed. <laughs> yo, this house is awesome. Phenomenal. I got to take a picture. Phenomenal property. One of the best I've seen in the United States of America. Oh, man. I'm going to pull over here. Oh, somebody here is, is probably about to pull in here. I have to show you guys this property. Oh, my gosh. There was a gentleman sitting on my right arm on the chair. We, had an old, we have another older gentleman walking with his hands behind his back. Like he's pondering a thought. And he just pushed his glasses in. Look at this property right here. Jeez Louise. Elman, Washington. Look at that property right there. Oh, my gosh. You should have seen it from the opposite side. Man, that's a fabulous house. I would love that property right there. Man, just not here. <laughs> Pick it up. Drop that bad boy off in PA for me. And <laughs> leave me the key under the doormat. That property right there stole my soul. But then again, I think any woman from this town will steal your soul. Say, no, I, 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 I'm going to cut it with all the women murderer jokes. Hey, I didn't think of it. Google did. <laughs> Yo, that's wild. All right, all right, all right. So we got that out of the way. Um, let's make a left over here. Let's go back through the downtown area. So in pop culture, author Shirley Jackson's memoirs, Life Among the Savages and Raising Demons, depict mid-20th century life in Bennington. Holy smokes. Bennington is a town that we must get out of now. We must evacuate. <laughs> Bad vibes here. Much of 1974 action film, The Catamount Killing, starring Horst Bushoch and Anne Wedgworth and Polly Holiday was filmed in Bennington. Yo, everything dealing with murderers and this and that. Like, yo. I didn't come here because I knew that, that this was about murder. I just came here because it was convenient and it was along our travels. The Walusmack Farmer's Market held in Bennington each Saturday, ranked 72. I got to be careful here. Um, 72 on the daily meals. I'm going to merge left. We have a little child with their parents or with his parents on my right. Let's make this left. Southern Vermont's college Everett Mansion was featured in the 2015 episode of Sci-Fi's Ghost Hunt Hunters. Man. So you can learn a lot about this town if you just visit Wikipedia. You can like learn about the details, but I'm not going to get too much into details. So what movies have been shot in Vermont? Oh my gosh, I see one of my favorite movies. Oh man, this 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 turned green real quick and then it turned red. One of my favorite movies is shot in Vermont. You ready? You ready? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice! Yeah, Beetlejuice was filmed here. That's what's up. And matter of fact, we was in another town where some Beetlejuice was filmed at because they had a Beetlejuice painting on the wall. So they probably shot it in between two locations. There's a biker gang over here on my left-hand side in the gas station, like a bunch of like, like seven or eight bikers with like the white beards and the jackets and all that. And I don't really care because I because I ride too. But considering the demographics of the town, I shall be weary. We have a Dollar General on my right. I wonder if they got what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you've been watching the last couple of weeks, then you already know what I'm looking for. We got Sacred Heart Francis on our right. Beautiful church. Some of these buildings look phenomenal. I'm glad I got a crystal clear picture of that one house that I really liked. I'm going to show that to the designer when I become a bajillionaire. <laughs> I'm going to say, I want my house to look like this. You heard, son? Throw a couple bricks in there. Throw a roof deck. Throw a balcony. Throw a moat with, with some sharks in it. And I'm Gucci. So you got Baby Boom was shot here. Beetlejuice. Before I Sleep. The Four Seasons. Funny Farm. Me, myself, and Irene with um, Jim Carrey. That's dope. Dope. Dope, sick dope, what, what, sick dope. We're at Maine and passing Belmont. I like Jim Carrey movies. 
Yeah, me, myself, and Irene was shot here. That's what's up, son. We're at Harrison and Main Street. Let's make this left. We got a Hemings gas station. Four fifty nine a gallon. That's cheap. On my right, that's super cheap. Look at this little apartment building on my right. So so nice looking. It looks like a little motel almost. Um, Ethan from the Spitfire Grill. Moonlight and Mistletoe, a Hallmark Channel holiday movie, was also shot entirely location, in, entirely on location in Vermont in um, Chester last summer. It stars Tom Arnold and Candace Cameron Bure and was directed by Vermont's resident Karen Arthur. Wow, so she lives here and she directed a movie shot here. That's cool. Hey, it was convenient for her, right? All right, so one of the articles that come up is, was Twilight filmed in Vermont? The book series does take place in Forks, Washington, but interestingly enough, the movies were not wholly filmed in the town of Forks. Rather, they were filmed in a town called Veronia, which is actually a, lo a logging town. So was it in Vermont? That really doesn't answer our question. <laughs> oh, we're at a dead end, yo. One of those women probably going to jump out with a hatchet. So Beetlejuice filmed in 1988. Yeah, boy, the year I was born. Beetlejuice filmed in 1988 was filmed in East Corinth, Vermont. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Beetlejuice. And then again, I realized that a lot of the movies that I naturally grew up liking, I naturally grew up gravitating towards a ton of movies that came out in 88. Leprechaun, Chucky, which is Child's Play, Beetlejuice, um, 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 um. What's the other one? What's the other one? I'm mad hype right now. Y'all should see the look on my face. Um, there's another Ninja Turtles. Um, 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 there's a, a couple other ones. Or if not, around the same era. Like, I like Nothing But Trouble. I don't think um, Nothing with, But Trouble was um, was shot in in um, 88. But anyway, I'm giving you an idea. There's a lot of movies that came out in 88 that... Without even knowing. Like, I didn't grow up saying, hey, I like this movie. Because it was made the same year I was born, I just learned recently, like, within the last 5, 10, 15 years via Google, via, like, you know, research, like, damn, I like this movie, I wonder when it was shot, 1988, boom, then this movie, when, when was it shot, like, Freddy Krueger, well, he's from 82, I think Freddy Krueger was, in, no, BS, I think it was 84 when Freddy Krueger came out, but one of the Freddies came out in 88, but, um, yo, these houses are nice, but yeah, man, it's mind-blowing, bro, Beetlejuice, I like that. We're at Maine and McKinley. Let's make this right-hand turn. The Loose Cannon Cafe on our left. The Loose Cannon. What Lies Beneath was also filmed here. The Trouble with Harry was filmed here. The Cider House Rules was filmed here. Sweetheart Dan. Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates. My, 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 my mama always said life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get out. Yeah, boy. Didn't he stutter? I stutter too. Yeah, boy. Flavor, flavor. Yo, that's what's up. Forrest Gump was shot here. That is awesome. I haven't seen that movie, to be completely honest with you, in like 25 years. I'm, I'm 34 now, so I probably didn't see that since I was like 10, 11, 12. I, I don't know. I, I vaguely remember. Like, I remember him running and him breaking off his little, his, 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 uh, he had like a, like a metal cast in his leg, him getting bullied. I think I remember him going to the military or like the Navy or something, but I probably should watch it again um, since, since we came here. But, uh, and fact, I just saw it in the, in, in the Five Dollar Bin the other day. I hate myself for not grabbing it right now. I should have grabbed it. That was in the $5 DVD bin the other day. And I saw it. And I'm like, yeah, Forrest Gump, cool, cool and all. But, man, I should have got it. But it was shot here. Wolf was shot here. Man with a Plan was shot here. Time Chasers, Dark Victory, Ordinary Center. Oh, man. <laughs> Ordinary Center. Nosy Parker, Way Down West, The Four Seasons, The Mudge Boy, Wedding Band, Mr. Deeds goes to town. All right, not the Mr. Deeds. I thought it was the Mr. Deeds. 
You remember, remember, with Adam Sandler and another one of my favorite actors. We got the crispy, crunchy chicken on our right-hand side. Let's make this left. We're on Holden Street. Let's make this left-hand turn. So as I'm talking randomly about all these facts and details and stuff, I hope you guys are able to take in the environment. If my voice annoys you, which it tends to annoy a small percentage, <laughs> you can feel free to watch the video. Just mute it, yo, lady or gentleman, whoever's watching. If I'm talking a bit too much for your taste, there's a mute button. You can mute it. If I'm driving too fast, you can slow down the footage on YouTube. Click the settings wheel and click slow. The other day, I actually utilized that feature. I incorporated that feature. You ready? You want me to tell you how I incorporated it? Cool, fun detail. Look, we got Fastener on our left. Wow. Um, and Allied Auto Parts on our left. Napa. So let me tell you a fun detail. So I was watching a YouTube video that was recommended the other day. Something in Seattle. Somebody supposedly had road rage and ran over two people in Seattle, right? So the so they put like a little 48 second clip of the person running some two two people over. It was like at a major event. Um, let's make this right on Lincoln Street. Shout out to Lincoln, my boy Lincoln, YouTuber. That's his his YouTube handle. I don't know if that's his government name, but for life you're gonna be known as Lincoln to me. You hear that, Vato? Vato Locos forever. Chale, Simon, Holmes. No more locked doors. Pip pip, chidios. Good day, mate. Crikey, look at this property on my left hand side. Say no, <laughs> there wasn't no property on my left hand side. But anyway, I was watching a video on on YouTube and it showed the accident, right? And from first glimpse, you would think, man, this this guy had road rage. Like, dude, like, he, well, like, why'd you run those two people over, right? We got Bennington Fire Department on our left. Somebody in the comment section, luckily I scrolled down a little bit, read the comments. Somebody said, but if you slow it down, you will see that that the first guy that got hit by the car was coming at him with a hammer. And I'll be completely honest with you. I didn't see that. It looked like there was this, this, this erratic person who decided to, you know, who for whatever reason, hit these two people he he hit the guy with the hammer and he hit a lady the lady was injured the guy with the hammer got right back up furious with the hammer in his hand right then i slowed it down and i watched it in two times speed like 0 0.002 because they give you like several slow options and they give you speed up options like you can watch my video sped up and i'm gonna probably sound like a chipmunk <laughs> but um oh there was a train right there i didn't even notice there was a locomotive there's a train right here let me reverse so y'all can see that. Like, like not a, not a real... Well, it is a real train. Oh, it's on an old track, too. Which tells me that a track probably used to run here back in the day. Right there. You see that gray container? That's a train. They got the train wheels. And it's on a track. There's still a portion of the track on the ground. But anyway, so I slowed it down with that feature that YouTube gives you. You just click the little window. There's a little a gear wheel. And click that. And it lets you pick speed. I slowed it down and I little did I be, little to behold, a little behold, whatever you call that phrase. But D, Depot and River, let's make this right. There's an outdoor eatery called the Dutchman's Tavern, established in 2019 on my right. The Dutchman Tavern, there's a bunch of people out there eating. On my left now. So anyway, I look at that footage and yo, little did you know, there was somebody with a hammer coming straight to him. We got Vermont is a state I love. There was a sign on our right that said that. Yo, the first dude, he looked angry and he had a hammer. So more than likely, that's going to help this guy's case in court because I'm, sh I'm sure he's, he's, he's going to get arrested. Because at the end of the day, regardless, you're not supposed to use your vehicle as a weapon. That could be vehicular manslaughter. That's a weapon, you know. Thousand, two, three, four, five thousand pound vehicle versus a little person is not good. TJ's fried fish on our right. But with that being said, you never know if this guy feared for his life. Somebody coming at you with a hammer, smashing your car, smashing the hood two or three times. We got Sunnyside Diner on our right, Main and Depot on our left. Um, we're next to the Shell gas station, $4.69 per gallon. Um, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's true, true story. Like, if somebody's coming at you with a hammer, smashing your hood, what are you going to do? And he reversed. The dude was still coming at him. So he probably just, you know, first thing that he realized was... You know, you got to think fast. It's like the human, um, what's that called? It's human nature. Like, instinct. instinct. There you go. We just passed the beat on our left hand side. Punch buggy, no punch bag. Punch whoever next to you. Your mother, your brother, your father, your sister, your niece, your nephew, whoever. Even a crazy woman on your block. That's from Vermont. But anyway, you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we back at the same block again. Should I drive through it one more time for you guys who didn't get a good look? Yeah, let's drive through it one last final time. Let's make this right. I'm going to merge right. And I'm not going to point anything. I'm just going to let y'all see. We're, but, but, but we're still going to talk. Yeah, so it's like human instinct. Like if somebody's coming at you with a weapon looking enraged, 
you might fear for your life and you might run him over. So you, you know, or hit him or something, you know, just to get him away from you. But um, so feel free to use those features, man. I know the person that hates me talking or the person that wants me to drive slower would not be watching this video. They're gonna watch a completely other video that don't even know that feature exists. <laughs> but it's cool. We have a library on my right hand side. What? That's a library? That's gonna look little. Oh no, the library was around a corner on silver. All right, so let's continue driving straight for about five or so blocks and see what we run into. That was Ramonto's on our right, passing Valentine Street. What if your last name's Valentine? You're on Valentine Street during Valentine's. Do you have a Valentine? What if you don't get your Valentine a gift? <laughs> get it? So many Valentines? Valentine, Valentine, Valentine. And you named your, your son Valentine Jr. There's a couple on my left holding hands. They must still be in love from last Valentine's Day. We're passing Union Street. All right, we're continuing to travel further in Bennington. We're passing Safford, Maine, and Safford. Not Stafford, but Safford. A S A F F O R D. Safford. Safford, maybe. I don't know. Miller's Toll, Dinner Club and Lounge on our left. Morgan and Maine. These are like the little clubs that you see in the movies. We're passing a mobile gas station, $4.69 a gallon. These are like the little clubs. Like when you, man, that kid got long curly hair. Um, my boy had a nose ring too. These are like the towns when you go into the small um, clubs. Look at now hiring all positions, Domino's Pizza. If anybody wants to come move to this town, just be wary of the women. Um, right? So <laughs> somebody's not going to like that joke. It's, well, it's, it's going to be a crazy woman too that's not going to like that joke. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I got a sour sense of humor. Poor humor. Poor humor. Short-term memory kicked in. <laughs> what was I talking about? They're like, dude, that's what you get. You kept cutting yourself off. There's a house for sale on my left-hand side. There's a gentleman on my right. Get into his vehicle. Oh, so if you come to these towns, right, and there's like a club like that, then you walk in and they all look at you. Like everybody look at you. All nine and a half people that are in the club look at you. Age Vermont cheese for sale on my right-hand side. I'm going to make this left. We're at Branch and Maine. We're currently on Maine. We're going to make this left on Branch. But, yeah, this is like one of those little small towns where, like, everybody knows everybody. And when you walk in, they're like, we don't serve your kind around here. And I'm like, what you mean? What you mean, my kind, son? And they're like, YouTubers. <laughs> like, yo, you saw me on YouTube. They're like, yeah, we're subscribed. <laughs> and we heard what you said about our women of Vermont. <laughs> yo, they should have never let me know that there was two murderers from this town. I'm entitled to video. Watch. Y'all y'all going to click this video just because you, you read that title. Mark my words. <laughs> yo, that's crazy. One of my subscribers that are probably watching is probably a woman. She probably got a couple bodies. She probably got a couple bodies hidden under her rug or something. That's crazy. She's like, Toon, I'm coming for you next, Toon. I'm coming for you. That's if Omi doesn't get me first. Say, <laughs> like, no, I'm kidding. You got to be a good sport about stuff, man. You got to, like, I'm, listen, I go through so much dark stuff every day. Like, you know, you know, I, 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 I go through rough hiccups daily, but I try to make light out of every dark situation. We're passing, uh, well, we're on Bradford Street. I'm sorry. GullySheriff.com. So those people on my right support the sheriff. Yellow house on my left looks nice with the burgundy shutters. That was a nice house. 208. 208. That was the address, 208. Nice house. Little teeny weeny fire hydrant on my right. We're on Warren Street. Let me make a right on Warren Street so I can warn everybody about. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not gonna go for it again. I can warn them about the women from this town. Say so you not. Know. Wonder if any modern day murderers live here. But the thing is, with technology and the way things are nowadays, I think I don't know. Maybe you can get away with it. I don't know. Or I don't. I don't. I don't know the story. I didn't examine those women's cases, so I don't know how they got caught. I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, what was the scenario? Did they turn themselves in? You know? 
and they got lynched, bro. That's crazy. Both of them got hung. Oh my gosh, that's that's like around the Salem witch days. But then again, if you think about it, we're not far from Salem, ladies and gentlemen. Below us is 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 um Massachusetts, right? Boston, Massachusetts. Above Boston is Salem, Salem, Massachusetts. That's where the witch. We're, we're definitely gonna go. listen. If I make a, a conscious effort to go through all these other major cities that, that people say, too, you should have went here, too, you should have went there. Listen, I know when I left Philadelphia that I wanted to hit Salem. So I'm going to make a conscious effort to hit Boston and Salem because that's just, just, that was on my list. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, that's, that's around, like, around the Salem days. Like, if you were a witch or if you appeared to be a witch, they would hang you. Yo, that's a pretty cool little river lake thing on my right stream with tons and tons of rocks omi's in the background capturing behind the scenes she's capturing behind the scenes of this little uh what is it it's like a like a river like a stream but with thousands of rocks that it looks beautiful it looks beautiful it's decent oh we got a car behind us my bad vehicle oh snap it's a female i better be careful it's like, nah, I don't even know if it's a female. I just threw that stupid joke in. Let me, let me see if it is. It was. It was a little old lady. All right, let's make this U-turn because this is a no outlet. So, what famous people live in Vermont? That's a good question, right? Like, are there any famous people? Like, people who are, like, entertainers, stars? We already heard a couple of notable people, including the murderers. But are there any famous people that live here? Legions of other famous people, from Whoopi Goldberg to Michael J. Fox, William H. Macy, and Felicity Huffman have taken up temporary residence here and practically... No fanfare. Just look at Rusty DeWeese, the logger. He lives in Vermont year-round, and no one cares. <laughs> I guess people... We're on Abbott Street and North Branch. I guess people live here because nobody's going to care that you live here. Like I guess the people here aren't starstruck. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, we got a car behind me. Um, let me move a little faster before I end up on someone's hit list. Um, yeah, so... That's basically what it what it says. Like this one dude lives there year round, and no one cares. So you know, I guess people here aren't uh, aren't amazed easily. Let's make this left on Cochran's way. Hopefully, this is a two way. If not, I'm in trouble. Yeah. So it's very interesting. Now this is a no outlet, so we got to make a U turn. Is it a no outlet? Yeah, we got to make a U turn right here. I'm sure everybody looking at us like, yo, we do not know that car at all. I <laughs> uh, got the smallest car in the world. It's so easy to make a U-turn. Dang, she was out on that EE bike, bro. She was doing like 29 miles an hour. Her little eggs was her little legs was going. She was moving. We just left Cochran's Way. We're passing Richards Drive. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me after reading that information or what. I feel a, a strange energy. <laughs> like a strange, like a aura, like a like an energy in the air. But then again, I went into the local Walmart and it was a really strange feeling too. Like, in the local Walmart, I, I, it just felt strange. And I've been to a lot of Walmarts across the country. This one, along with probably, like, one in Tennessee, felt kind of strange. And I think one in Alabama felt kind of weird. This one, actually, it looked nice. This was a really nice presentation. This was one of the best-looking Walmart. But believe it or not, I thought all Walmarts looked the same. No, there's, like, 20 different facades of Walmarts across the country. Different states get different facades. Vermont had a really nice Walmart. It looked like a house from the outside. It was banging from the outside. It looked neat. It looked really nice, right? I went in the inside. It looked like a warehouse. It looked completely different from what I thought it was going to look. It looked homey from the outside. On the inside, it just looked like a like a Home Depot, like a, like an empty warehouse. 
vast space, the Twilight Zone. You are now entering a vast space in time. 